To our stories closer to home now, the number of homeless living on the streets of downtown San Diego, it has risen once again. A recent report now shows the population living on the streets is nearing the 2,000 mark. KSI's Matt Pritchard is live downtown showing us different portions of the city that are impacted by this. Matt, what are you learning from these new numbers? Yeah, Hunter, this all comes from the Downtown San Diego Partnership, which, as you mentioned, shows that the homeless population downtown is just under 2,000. I think it's at about 1937, 1,937 people on the street. And really, the area that is the most impacted far and away is the East Village. Now, we've moved onto the other side of the 5 Freeway from downtown. And I want to step out of frame and just give you a look here. This is Commerce Street. We are at 19th Street in Commerce. With the headlights going by, it might be hard to see, but this entire sidewalk goes Going underneath the five free underpass is just jam-packed with tents, and it continues for blocks and blocks past the overpass of the five freeway. Again, it just shows the crisis that we are facing here in America's finest city, San Diego. And between December and January, the Downtown San Diego Partnership does this count every single month. And between December and January, they found that the count had gone up by exactly 100 people. So certainly not an insignificant number there. And the number number just continues to climb month after month. We have seen five straight months of increases. And again, East Village, certainly one of those areas where we see a lot of this, but also throughout the rest of downtown too, Cortez Hill, Civic Center, the Gas Lamp Quarter, wherever you might be, you may see this human tragedy that is just playing out on the streets of San Diego day in and day out. We know, of course, there have been many efforts to try and remedy this in any way that they possibly can. New shelters going up at spots like the old library, which is specific uh, for women to try and get those women into a bed on a nightly basis. Also, we've seen shelters opened up for those younger uh, audiences. Uh, 20 or so beds just yesterday opened up at Urban Street Angels for transient teens. So obviously there are efforts going on to try and help and remedy this crisis, but advocates say it still isn't enough and they are missing, the politicians that is, the key component here of how to get this crisis solved. Take a listen. Positive steps, but they're on the temporary end. And we got to realize that, for example, when Mayor Gloria took office just about two years ago, the downtown, downtown count was only 622 people. It's now 1,939 people. So those 20 beds, those 36 beds, you know, they don't really cut it. We have to act in a much bigger way. We have to start recognizing that, that this is out of control. We're in this perfect storm where inflation, the high cost of housing, a lot of things are going on right now. We're coming out of this pandemic that caused wreaked havoc on people's uh, bank accounts and livelihoods. I don't see this slowing down, so we're gonna have to really ramp up. We're gonna need to be talking about 200 beds or 100 beds, or and most of all, we gotta start talking about Where's the housing going to come from that all these folks that are going to be in the shelters are going to go into? Difficult questions that don't have too many answers at this point. We've had a chance while we've been out here to talk with a few homeless individuals. And as you might imagine, the stories, they range. I mean, it's basically everything you can imagine for reasons why people ended up on the street. We are going to talk with them a little bit later tonight on KUSI at the news at 10 and 11 o'clock. So look forward to that. Look forward to bringing that to you and just give you a better perspective of what people are facing out here on the streets. Hunter. Certainly telling the full picture there. Matt Pritchard live for us downtown. Thanks so much, Matt.